All right, I'm going to do a short video on, well, I well, I went to the election division or whatever of Bergen County to get myself the sample ballot to see a list of all the candidates that are going to be available on, on the election that I will be able to vote. So I'm not sure if you can make out, but there are a lot of people for a lot of various offices. Now, let's start with the lowest positions here. Uh, well, not the lowest, but the, the, the local government, so to speak. Now, for the members of council, I have to vote for two people out of three. Lynn DeLucia, who I emailed to contact, uh, to attempt to meet, to determine if I should vote and who they are and what they want, etc., uh, from the Republican Party. Now, now there's two people from the Democratic Party, Donna M. Spato and Bernard Fontana, who there is no contact information available on the internet or on Google that... <laughs> It just I spent a couple of minutes looking for it, and then it just there's no information for me to contact them. This is this this is ah, madness, and I need to pick two out of three. So where is everybody else? Okay, I know where they are. I mean, they're watching football, drinking beer. Uh, for members of the board of chosen freeholders, now this is for the county government. There's a choice of six people. I need to pick two. Now off the Republican uh, party. There's Robert G. Hermanson. I've emailed him. Then there's Margaret Fallahy Watkins. No contact information. Now there's the Democratic Party, Steve A. Tonelli, who I called. I managed to call him. Woohoo! And I'm going to be meeting him in an hour. And he's going to be with his partner, Tracy Silnazur. They're like a Democratic Party, like it's a bundle. It's a bundle. If you're going to be voting for one of him, you'd usually vote for the second one. It's a bundle. It's like a McDonald's Happy Meal or a number of a fast food restaurant. You, you know, you want number four or you want number two. It's just, it's, it's silly, but uh, welcome to America. Uh, so I'm going to be meeting them at 6.30 in one hour. Now, they're the Democratic Party. Now, there's another party called the Green Party. There's Joseph Pizzilio and Edmund Fanning. Again, no contact information whatsoever that's available for me to contact them. Okay. Now, there's the members of the House of Representatives, or commonly known as Congress. There's Shmuley Botiak for the Republican, which I emailed. Then for the Democrat, there's Bill Pascrell Jr., I emailed. Now, then there's E. David Smith, which, again, I did not find. Uh, he's off for the Abundant America uh, political party, whatever. I emailed, and there's no nothing there about that. Then... Um, there's the Constitution Party, G Jeanette Woolsey, no contact information. Well, E. David Smith has contact information, but his campaign connects into his business. So it's I, I'm sure he's only running to promote his business in this case. Uh, it's a, uh, Okay, now for the United States Senate, there's Joe Carillos, who I called and I spoke to a secretary or an intern. And Joe's busy uh, helping out, doing some nonsense for the Hurricane Sandy. Uh, well, no, he's doing something. I, I, I hope he's doing something important. I hope he's on a poll with the electricians. Uh, he's currently, I found out, he's currently a state senator, which is the upper house of the position that I'm planning to run for next year. Uh, I'm planning to go for the lower house. He's part of the upper house because he's a, a big man. Uh, so he's trying to move up into the Senate, the U.S. Senate. Then there's Robert Menendez of the Democratic Party, who is currently the United States Senator. So he's running for a re-election. And I emailed him. Again, no way to really contact him or anything. Um, I had to email him through his uh, official uh, post at the Congress. Then there's Ken Volsky of the Green Party, who I emailed. And, uh, and then there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 other people who are running for the United States Senate that I haven't really looked into yet. Now, then for the, the President of the United States and the President uh, and the Vice President of the United States, there's I haven't managed to, I haven't gone this far as to contact them yet. I'll probably do it later because I need to get ready right now. I want to get dressed up a little fancy schmancy so I can go meet um, Steve A. Tonelli and Tracy Zilnazura, 
so I can find out who they are, what they want, and why haven't they called me or reached out to me or emailed me or whatever. Um, and then I'll, uh, I don't know what I'll do after that. Um, well, no, I need to email Oliver some of the stuff that uh, we need to do, and I need to get my, uh, hopefully I'll hear back from Adnan uh, tonight, so I can make my decision, because I really need to purchase some domains and some hosting. I need to get that situated, because it's, um, I can't be stalling too much. And I need to have everything ready by spring, so this is going to be a winter where I bunker down and I... Okay.